Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Ma Teng Tiang Only campaign. We pick things back up for episode 5 from turn 28 in the winter season of 199. So as we are about to turn on the century, we are also done with our war. Uh, if you notice here, if we switch to diplomacy, we have no more wars and we have no more neighbors, technically. Uh, over here is empty land, uh, we have trade deals with the two other neighbors, so we're really not interested in breaking any of these deals. And what we're going to do going forward is actually a bit of peacetime expansion. I am going to pick up some of these land, I thought about it, and I had some new ideas. So what we're going to do first is this group that has fought very well in way they will be disbanded and recalled because i'm not taking them out of that area we do lose a few ranks on the units but it's not that much so it's not a big deal and everyone will be recalled and Wu Wei will be pretty much a utility like utility commandery going forward there is a horse pasture here if we had taken it in a different order, where we take the settlement capital first, we could do some independence movement uh, with our vassals and perhaps give that piece away. But because we really want, uh, well, he can't get independence. There might be two things holding us back. One is that we're not high enough rank. We need to be marquees to get vassalized. So we're gonna wait for that. We're very close. And what I'm gonna do once we get that is I'm going to set up an administrator in Shuofeng and then we're going to ask them to go to independence. I might actually give away one of my sons and we can create some sort of vassalized empire. And the thing that's standing in our way from doing that is that I don't want to give up the animal tamer and the horse pasture, which is here and here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait off on colonizing. We need 8,000 to colonize uh, capital. So in the meantime, we're going to be waiting for reforms next term, and we're going to upgrade these horse um, pastures that we have. We have two to five, uh, rank five, which means we would gain from, I think, 10 prestige each. So that's two per, that's, yeah, that's two of them, so 20 prestige. And then this we can gain, hmm, we can't gain any here. And then it's just got to be the capital gains. If we colonize that, we can gain a couple of prestige from just the settlement itself. And the goal is just to get to the next rank. So this army is also going to get disbanded. So we're trying to eliminate upkeep. And one stack of these costs us 720. So they're all going to go. We might raise taxes and leave a few empty shell armies just farming for a little bit. So this way we have maximum income going forward. We won't recall the army. Our new target is Shuofeng itself. So we're just going to keep going. It's right here. Shuofeng is actually Ma Teng's birthplace. And we'll give it to one of our sons to take care of. Namely Ma Xiu, I think, because he's disloyal. I don't really want to keep him. And then we do have this army coming down for the rebel farming. We can't stop a lot of these things because of people in power and taxations. We might as well embrace it. Uh, this event should end very soon and then we can resume in a lot of places. Yeah, this is also going to be an issue. We're going to send him away. It's very hard to keep him happy. And there's also sibling jealousy and also rivalry between siblings. So that way, com see competition for the throne. If we give them away as vassals, we wouldn't have that issue. All right. What about his wife, though? We had him married. Yeah, we had him married. We can keep the wife and send the son. I don't know if I can send both. There is that grant family independence, but I don't know if that works. So we'll see. And then Matia can stay with us until we find a suitable place for him as well, because you can see the competition for the throne as well. It won't be an issue with all our siblings. Anyhow, they can encamp. 
Do we get prestige from this? No, no prestige on the gates. So there's no point to upgrade that. No prestige on the two to three rank upgrade. We'll do eventually we'll pick one up, but I don't know if we want to. Hmm, actually, we can do this now. And then we can pick up a uh, in building. And then we can get rid of the tax collection. Or we can get rid of it now. Let's upgrade that. We'll keep it for the rebel farming. All right, we just picked this up. This is going to be utility, as I said. So when I mean utility, I mean three buildings. Namely, right now, we'll get one of our Xilin supply lines. So we can start recruiting some of our Qiang infantry. And this will also provide some public order here. So we don't have to worry about the rebel farming here. I don't want to leave an army behind. It will also give us some extra food, uh, which will go all the way up to three at tier four. And tier four is when we unlock all of the units. That's one set of buildings. And then we're probably going to do a conscription. And the reason why we're doing these is because we have a couple agricultural buildings that can help us with the discounting. So this can go away. All right, and we're also missing, we're missing a building for our mission. We've got to build it in the next three turns, a school. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll get reforms next turn. We looked at most of these. Uh, no one really catches our eye. We already gave that away. He did his job. He is coming back. And we can talk about Jiangsu once we get him. Um, he is quite interesting, historically. That's why he has the reed in the wind. So we'll get to him eventually. I think that's our plan. Our plans will keep Anding. We'll keep... Jincheng will take away, but Shuofang will give away the just the settlement piece to Ma Xiu, and he can have a vassalize. Okay, we're missing 46. So 26 after the two upgrades on the horse pasture. Maybe if we colonize this, it'll be another five. Hmm, we can't really get anything else. If we can upgrade, we need 25 turns of reform to get that. So I think the easiest way is to just pop up some of these buildings to the rank, higher rank. Right, so this can go to a small city or more. Yeah, it's not a lot. We have to figure something out later. All right, so satisfaction's okay right now. We did all the building. I wanna do this first though. All right, let's just end for now. We'll take the money increase. Do we even wanna do this? Rebellion. Yeah, we can do that actually. Wow, that's actually a huge difference. A thousand extra income. Let's do it. Oh, Bilba wants to vassalize us. We probably look really weak right now because we have no army. Alright. Wow, Ma Xiu has a kid. Ma Yangbao. A daughter. Okay. Nice. That might be useful on our administrator. Yep, commerce. Perfect. So you are a general in the field. You're a Britain officer, but you're angry with us because of your high rank. You're in the field, yet you're still angry. I will farm this and figure out what we want to do. Well, Britain officer, I definitely don't want to give up on them. I guess a title would be the solution here. Extra experience for 
Masio. And we'll just give him something generic, patrol commander, just to keep it respectable. We do have quite a bit of characters. All right, we're getting more. So I guess sending a few away as vassals would be great, assuming we can get the prestige for it. What do we want here? I would love to have that one, but need a lot on the way there. We can probably get higher tier. The good thing about this is not only can we farm rebels in the commanders we want to farm, but we get passive public order everywhere. So if we get both of these, we can counteract Ma Teng's cruel, but we also want tier 5 horse pastures. I think this first, and then we'll get this next spring. Right. Because Unding's probably gonna. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We we took we tore it down. We had one, but then we tore it down. We weren't sure we were going to rebel farm or not. Right, this is clearly one of our income commandery, and even if not, like in the future I'm going to move capitals. Jincheng's not that great. What we're going to do is end up with a corruption reduction eventually here. Right now we're getting help from the assignment, that's why it's so low, but it's not 2%. If we switch to any one, it's 13%. It's actually creeping up because we did pick up quite a bit of land. Alright, we do want to build up. Right, the reason why we didn't pick the horse pasture ones because our horse pastures aren't ready. Small city. I think we built this first. And then we get rid of this one because I don't actually think this helps us. Actually, no, we'll keep it. We can go all the way to a city build if we can produce enough food, which I think we can. Alright, we once again don't have money, but that's expected. Um, we didn't really want to colonize this early. Although the prestige from leveling up the settlement would help, but we would have to spend more money then. Alright, we gotta use our deployment to summon some armies, because we are going to get rebels elsewhere. Wei is going to get one. So let's see, you're going to get one first, I assume. Yes. Uh, we just summoned back Machal, oh, he's not coming out here. We're going to place Zamba. Hmm, we could pay up and get rid of these units now. Alright, I'm gonna grab Jashu. Yeah, I guess Matia would work well. This is a nice army. Alright, they can farm out here. And we'll summon another one next turn. Because we already have one here farming over here. We just want to be garrisoned. And that's all we have to do. He's still there. Can't do anything about that. I don't think we can get any good deals right now. Because we're deemed weak. If someone wants to cancel their deal with us. I'm happy to do that. And then we can actually attack them. So let's continue. All right, even the young folk want to vassalize us. No, reject. All right. Liu Zhang died. Wow, I didn't expect that. We'll get closer with... Oh. This might work out because they don't like each other. So this would force them to like each other. It just deepens their relationship instantly. Wow, so many characters. Zhang Lu. Zhang Liao. Is Li Bu's faction destroyed? Okay, we can pick up a bunch. Um, so we're not going to pay them to do it again. Something always comes up. Uh, which is fine. Let's see. 
We are going to pick up Zhang Lu for sure. He also has a gold armor. And Celestial Master means we get double food production. I'm not going to make him our heir or anything. We'll probably just slap him into a Prime Minister role later. And then Zhang Liao. Please tell me your faction is destroyed so you're not a spy. I have to check this outside. No grudge. I mean, even if Liu Bu is sending him out as a spy, I'm taking him. Yeah, I don't think there's there's a reason not to take Zhang Liao here. Anyone else with items? Okay, that's a bad item. And then we'll check if anyone else has Burn Trait. A Dantin's from the last batch. Well, unless he got grouped with this batch too. No. Okay. Alright, no one's burnt. We're happy with the two that we did pick up. So that works. We got a bow. Another rebellion soon, but we'll pop this up so we get even more rebellion. Might as well right now. Alright, we need an army where? Anding. I think Unding is going to blow up next. We have someone at Wudu, we have someone at Wei. Okay, so Unding would be the next location. I'm going to see who Zhang Lao gets along with. Zhang Lu, Zhang Xiu. Oh, Zhang Xiu is here. Okay. That's our administrator, we're not summoning him. Alright, let's talk about these three. These three are definitely not related, even though they have the same last name. They all have Zhang as their last name, uh, but they're not related. Zhang Liao, I believe, is from the Bin province, which is this region here. Zhang Lu uh, family is originally from over here, but they migrated a long, long time ago into the Shu region. And their family is deeply religious, and his great-grandfather uh, is the founder of Taoism, um, or a sect of Taoism in this region. And he ran a sort of a pseudo-religious state um, in the Hanzhong region until he ended up joining with Cao Cao, uh, Ma Chao, uh, joined him for a bit, and eventually Ma Chao joined Liu Bei, uh, and then Pang De left, um, stayed with Zhang Lu. And then when Zhang Lu joined Cao Cao, Pang De went to Cao Cao. And he has some great items. Um, we'll let him hang on to these for now. He is free. All right, because uh, his salaries, there's no, no retinue. Zhang Xiu. Okay, so Zhang Xiu is Zhang Ji's nephew. Zhang Ji has a faction in the game right here. And what happened with them is that Zhang Ji and Zhang Xiu, or Zhang Xiu's uh, father died quite young, so he lived with his uncle. Uh, during this chaotic period, they took Xiangyang for a little bit of time. But Liu Bao retaliated and Zhang Ji died. And then Liu Bao kind of relented that Zhang Ji died because they used to work in government together. And then he took in Zhang Xiu and then gave him Wan Cheng, uh, Wan Xian here. It's relative in this region. And Zhang Xiu was kind of guarding Liu Bao's uh, border for him in the Jin province. Because Liu Bao does this a lot. You know, Liu Bei got um, Xin Ye and Zhang Xiu got Wan Cheng. And Wan Cheng is where Cao Cao came down to fight. Because Cao Cao, you know, want this region too. It's the border region. And this is the story where uh, Cao Ang would die. Because Cao Cao wanted to sleep with Zhang Ji's widow. But Zhang Ji died, right? Zhang Xiu took over, and then Zhang Xiu got mad because that's his aunt, and uh, he rebelled against Cao Cao in the middle of the night, led to the death of uh, Cao Ang, Cao Cao's oldest son, one of Cao Cao's nephew, as well as Dian Wei. But then, what's interesting here is that after he chased Cao Cao out, Cao Cao survived, and Cao Cao came back and fight, Zhang Xiu had a strategist, who we actually have, Dashu. Dashu was Zhang Xiu's strategist. 
Jia Xu eventually convinced Zhang Xiu to try to surrender to Cao Cao, who Zhang Xiu thought was impossible because he killed Cao Cao's son. But Cao Cao was pretty, you know, interested in talents overall and wanted to just, you know, take this region without force, agreed to it, and then took him on to fight in Guandu, and he did very well in the Battle of Guandu. And to show that Cao Cao kind of forgived him, Cao Cao married one of his sons to his daughter. So he became in-laws to the Cao clan, and he got a bunch of marquis titles. He eventually died of old age, not old age, I think relatively young, but like natural death, around like 207. So before like Battle of Tribute and all that. Uh, but his family went on to become officials in the court. He had a son. His daughter was married to one of the minor sons uh, to Cao Cao, not one of the major ones. So it's not like Cao Pi, Cao Zhi, Cao Zhang, none of those. A uh, very minor son. But still, a uh, pretty interesting character. I guess Reed in the Wind kind of reflects that he changed sides a lot, but most of the time he was not really, you know, he was forced. It was not like he had a say in that. Uh, and then Zhang Liao, we all know, was a general that worked with Ding Yuan before, uh, joined in together with Lü Bu and them into Dong Zhuo's force, and then eventually went off with Lü Bu once Lü Bu became his own force. And then once Lü Bu got destroyed, he joined Cao Cao. So technically, we have three generals who will all eventually join Cao Cao historically, but they're here with us right now. And we have a lot of generals. Uh, that is going to be an issue because our satisfaction is really not great. Uh, we might even switch his assignment to the satisfaction boosting one. It's 15 points, but we gain some corruption, which is not a big deal because they will cancel out. So we'll talk about that too. All right. We have an army summoned. We're going to summon another army here next turn. Probably Ma Charles army. And then we'll just maintain the status quo until... We have enough points for the upgraded, um, the, the rank up, so that we can get vassals. Let's continue. And Meng Huo declares war on us. Sure, walk through all of Liu Zhang's territory, please do that. You're basically seeing a reflection of AI personality. He probably likes to pick on weak factions, and right now we feel rather weak, so he just declares war. Alright, factions are just... What, what is going on with Liu Zhang? Are they at war with someone? Because the heir also died. Ah, they're actually close. We have another son, Ma Yu. Ma Chao has a son, Ma Shu. We have so many kids. Uh, free generals uh, in, in 90 turns, so not the worst. But right now we have way too many generals. And the bad thing here is we're gonna keep ranking up, and uh, like that—that's a level up. Probably our son. He was level one, which is gonna cause more issues. We'll worry about those issues now. All right, no more income boosting. The bandit character is gonna use the sat satisfaction boost one as well. All right, so we need to summon an army here. I like the husband and wife team, and I like the bandit with the poison volley. All right. And we're going to boost our food. Yeah, we'll fix the satisfaction next turn. There's also a satisfaction issue here. My gosh. The sons. Too many siblings. Competition for the throne, sibling jealousy. Yeah, I have too many kids. Well, I can give them titles just so we don't get debuffed. But let's see, can we find something cheap? Reduce penalty from desire for higher office? That's not the main issue though. 24 points. Okay, it's it's a, it's an issue, but it's not the main issue. I guess we can pay him 200. Oh, got to get rid of these sons. Yeah. 
we have how many characters? We have 15. And then if you think about it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are family members. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Half of our field uh, are family members. We actually have enough money for you this time, uh, depending on how much we build. Right, this would have to be this upgrade, because this actually, oh actually no, it can be this as well. Trying to boost prestige. Get a school. Can we get invoke? We can, so we might rush that. Uh, but if we rush it, they don't have enough money. Alright, we will just delay the faction council mission by one turn. I will build this up a little bit. I think the first level was two, four, eight, twelve points. Let's see how much we need at that time. We're getting there. Forty-one. Okay, we haven't upgraded our horse pasture at all. Yeah, it's going to be a, a few turns of very peaceful development here. No new characters. Let's continue. All right, another vassalization demand. Nope. Alright, now we finish that, we can invoke council, settlement upgrade, we'll definitely do that. Rush Rebellion, very easy. Let's see, guard, not interested. Hunter, not interested. Well, we did forget to check turncoats. Right, none of these are interesting. What's well, this still available? The question is, do we really want him? Not really. Because we're playing so many town units, less interested in champions. Alright, we'll get this going. This is one of the missions. Alright. Those missions will also help with satisfaction a little bit. And the most important thing that will help is this right here. So you see the plus 15% corruption, you might think, oh, that's terrible. Well, the problem is, well, not the problem. The thing is, we have minus 50% here. Those will get added up together first. So our minus will just go to minus 35. We actually won't get hit by this. So it's not that bad. And we really need the satisfaction, because our sons are just up in arms because they have brothers. Now we have two generals doing nothing on the court, including holding on very good items. We'll just take that up. Wait, did we not remove it? There we go. You don't need this. You'll get plus 15 over the turn. Wow. You'll also get plus 15. I'm gonna steal your stuff for now. Also your stuff. She no longer has a retinue, so this is not needed. She is not a general right now. Alright, we're just gonna take everyone's item off as well. I can't take this away, can I? Yeah, B minus 25 points, 28 points. Yeah, that's too much. This I can take away now. Because he's now in the court position. Right, you're the administrator. I can give you a little bit of resolve, especially if that can give you to 3k. Nope. Hmm. Maybe if I give you eight points resolve. We'll, we'll do that next turn. Maybe we can get him an extra population growth. That would be nice. Undo. We can hold on to that. We can give you a better spear next turn and also the better armor. I think he deserves it, which means this one will probably go to Zhang Lu. You're good. 
You're good. You're going you guys are gonna be good. Also don't need this right now. Oh actually maybe Ma Teng needs the better armor. You no longer need this, and you probably don't need this. Alright, cleaned out the items. Nothing to build, just wait. Oh, okay, there's something. Okay, school is no longer needed. We're gonna do tax first, and then state workshop, and then upgrade. And then land development, I guess. Alright, we're good. I could pick up this. This would be a couple points of prestige as well. I can't pick up any other part of Shuofang unless I want to give it over. Which actually I could. I could give this over. Right, let me do a quick math. Because I think we can... So we're missing 41, right? We need 41 points of prestige to get this to work. Shuofang... We can get up to 12 points before we hand it over, over, right? So that's 12. We can pick up the salt mine. We can build just level one because that's five points. We don't, we can't really get it to four because we don't have to reform. So we'll just get to level one, which means that's another five points. So we're at 17. And our horse pastures, each of them can go up by 10 points so 20 37 we need 49 or 41 and then if we pick up this five points that's enough that's perfect okay so it's a lot of lot of steps but we'll, we'll get there hopefully no one's really mad before then let's continue all right more kids Masio has another son. Oh, we got another festival to slow down our rebel forming. Which is rather pointless because we actually want the rebels. We just gotta be mindful of Meng Huo's army sneaking over because they're ready here. We'll see them though, Jiamengguan as well. Can't click onto the army, keep clicking on the city. Wait, who has night battle in this group? Zhang Nao has night battle? That means he had fire arrows. I'm gonna go for reach. Right. Okay, this is our first fire arrow general. Why does he still have his weapon? Thought I disarmed everyone. First person we have to fix is him, because he can actually improve. So right now we're looking at 2k. Still 2k, so that's kind of pointless. What if we give him this? 11% versus what, 10%? Eh. It's something, I guess, if we want to do it that way. Actually, we, we might as well just give him this, because he's going to get 8 more points once he rank up, which is pretty soon. And that should push him to 3k population growth. I'll grab the salt mine. We'll give him both. I only want the horse tamer and horse pasture. So he can take both of these. Because there's no point for me to keep just a salt mine. It's not going to generate us any income. If he has more income, he might send an army to protect us. 
Andron's gonna rebel, but we have an army there already. That can wait. Let's upgrade this so we get four more points of prestige. And we can build a in building. Is Jincheng gonna rebel too? Okay. So we might need one more general. Alright, actually we can just use the city garrison to fight them off. I'm gonna summon her to get rid of the lack of purpose. Alright. Anything change over here? Nope. Wait, Liu Bao is willing to sign. Oh, zero point. Yeah, it's like, we're rather weak right now. All right, let's continue. Oh, misclick, misclick the map. All right, let's float back. Nothing fancy. You know what, you guys can spawn rebels too, right? It will. Alright, rebels are coming fast. Alright, we want to... Pick this up. Like our horse pastures are all rank what? This one's going to rank four. This one's ready rank four. Okay, so I guess this is the turn. There we go. Rebel in here as well. We'll let this one grow because I can't fight with this one general. It's not going to delegate well. And we can go to tier 5. Probably. I mean, both of these are fine. Do that one first. Oh, it's just telling me it's going to rebel next turn. I was like, why is it still purple? Alright, let's just continue. Alrighty. Alright, so we got 5 prestige here. We don't even have to spend money. It starts out rank 1, which is lovely. And then they're going to come here. That was a siege battle? Really? Oh, they sieged. Perfect. Um, what do we want here? This is a bandit character, but... Hmm, maybe we just go with the traditional ones, but I think we might want reach. That's just universally good. They sieged. Uh, they, they can't win this. Yeah, it's not even close. Might as well use them to get food. I don't see anything from Meng Huo yet. What's our other one? 
Oh, that should be happening. Yeah, one turn. We might start rushing some of these as we build up a little bit of savings. Ooh, rank three. Okay, the only thing we need to check every turn is basically any new turn coats. And that seems to be a negative, so let's just continue. Alright, there we go. Some extra satisfaction, some extra income from commerce. Ooh, you fun. What are you doing all the way up north? One of the few characters with a drunk trait. Oh. Sun Tzu banished him. Interesting. He didn't get along with Sun Quan. Uh, you can see an abrasive advisor here. He's pretty interesting. Once you become emperor, you can afford to put him in as one of your prime ministers because even though you get hit with that satisfaction hit, but you get 10% building upkeep discount and 5% to all income, which is great. We'll grab him. We need strategists anyways. And since he got banished, he's not going to have the chance to be a spy. What about everyone else? Nope. Are you from... Oh no, you're from Cao Cao. This is probably Shi Yi instead of Shi Yi. So it's not related to the Shi clan. Chang Guan, Yue Ying. Uh, nope. Okay. That's a nice item. But no one's really getting items, and for once we don't actually have to fight any rebels. So we're back to marching. And we're back to building. The ministry are leveled up. Let's see if this goes to 3k. Yep, our plan worked, and we also get five more food, which will help us rank up some of these commanderies. Like Shuofang. I'm not building anything else, I'm just building whatever I need for prestige. Unding will pick up one soon. I think we want to do this just for the prestige as well. Sangguan, Jincheng, that's two turns, two turns. We should be ready in about two to three turns. So next spring, 202, I think we'll get the prestige and we can do our thing. Yeah, I think, I think we will have it by that time. All right, let's continue. All right. Cool. Only from his reckless trait. School again. Brain storage. Okay, we'll build that in empty building slots when we have it. Nothing's changed. I don't think we can get there. Nah. It's okay, we don't need the two extra food. We actually have tons of food right now. This becomes what? Rank four. Or no, rank five. So we'll get that five points of prestige jump next turn. I believe same thing here. No, this needs one more. Well, we can rush that one. Two turns. We can rush. We're, we're aiming for spring 202. I think that's the goal. This is a cheap rush right now. Alright, I think that's good. Not rebel. Is it getting a lot of action here? Alright, let's continue. He wants to sign on Gretchen back. I'm okay with that. I don't want to fight him. I want to fight Liu Zhang's old faction. Yang Ren's faction right now. This will tick a lot of people off though. He's rather weak, isn't he? Well, he's stronger than us, but that's because we, we lowered ourselves on purpose. Actually, no, he's making a push. Yuan Shao's here. What? Hmm. 
I'll take it. He's our trade partner. Zhu Hao. Wonder if he's related to Zhu Jun. Zhao Jiao. This is a bandit. Uh, not interested. All right, no one good, which is a blessing because if we get any more good people, we have to recruit them. All right, this requires a build. Rush, go here. I don't know if I need to rush that one though. Jincheng. Yeah, we need a private workshop. This should also upgrade. What what about our prestige? We have 18 more. We want to upgrade this, but we don't have enough money. So maybe this can wait. Because this is five points. And I actually really want the building for future cheap recruitment. I think we can have like almost free cavalry recruitment now. We might already have it. I can double check. Actually, no, we only have two horse pastures, so we don't have it. But once we get three, I think we definitely have it. Oh, they're also going to get a rebellion. Oh, no, who's going to take care of this? Oh, we have a Simon timeout as well. That's no good. We really need that assignment to be back on. Maybe we can recall army. Because I don't want Shuofang to fall to yellow turbans. Jincheng's gonna be a while. That's gonna be three generals. That should be good enough. I might send him back right now. Because he's eventually gonna be. He's gonna be sent away very soon. Right. I think we're too poor to hire spies right now. Yeah, no one's really interesting. Hopefully we'll have everything in order next turn. Let's go. Alright. Almost only has died of old age. Poor guy. Um, how much are we missing? Nine points. Okay. So if we rush this and rush this, we have just perfect amount. This is a five point increase, and this is a four point increase. There we go. Marquis. And we don't have to even take care of the rebellion because now all we have to do is send out Ma Xiu, right? Uh, Zhang, uh, Ma Xiu, not Zhang Xiu. Ma Xiu, where are you? Ma Xiu, right here. Our second oldest son. And we're going to go to court. And we're going to grant family independence. I wonder... I don't think he takes the wife, though. We keep the kids, I believe. Yeah, we also kept the wife. So now Shuofang is owned by him. And the advantage here is we can trade with him. Which is the main goal here. And let's see what we can do. I will never absorb him. I don't want money right now. We'll, we'll, we'll give that promise a bit later. I can steal one of his starter items, but don't really care about stone pigs here. Here, I'm going to give you a little bit of bribe or consider this allowance to get you started perfect lucky for him he's probably gonna have a neutral family background we have a poor family background 
Ma Teng grew up really rough, even historically. So I, I think this is fair, right? We have a poor background. So minus 25% family estate. So we get 1,500 every turn instead of 2,000. And Ma Teng's childhood was basically his father was a small captain in Shuofang, I believe, but then lost his job. And then they moved, um, I believe, to Tianshui, which would be around uh, where Jincheng is. And then he had to go into the mountains by himself to cut lumber and sell it as, you know, for money on the market. And that's pretty much Ma Teng's upbringing. He was basically a lumberjack. And he was a tall man for his age, uh, for his time period. I think he was 185 centimeters, so roughly six feet. A uh, modern standard, not so tall. Like, I'm taller than Ma Teng, but back then, tall guy. Right, now we can start getting ready for our southern expansion and we can start taking places uh, things that we actually want we actually want that so let's go take that so our goal now can we pick up yeah let's pick up our wife our goal is now we're gonna attack them so we're gonna start tearing up treaties and we have more court positions to keep people happy now too so we're gonna start tearing up treaties Wait, our trade with Lijus is he got siege by yellow turbans. Okay, it's just temporary. It's just temporary. Okay. Ooh, I was like, what happened? Are we not getting money this whole time? We could also and actually that that's not a trade partner because that's not on the port. He filled it up, or else we could trade with him. I'm gonna cancel our deal with them because we have to go through them but it's roughly five turn waiting period so let's get it started now right and then we can attack them in five turns we'll get ready for that we're going to also scale back Rebel farming. There's no point to do it now. Our goal is to focus on attacking now. We have a bunch of good generals. So let's see. Undying Suicide so Rebellion because we have a tax collector, which we're not going to keep. Instead, we're going to build land development. And then, I don't know. Do I want to keep this? I might just want to keep this a small. Hmm. This might be our income commandery. As sad as that sound. 10% he she's a burn officer, isn't she? 10% to all sources. And it might just go with her. Plus five public order as well. Counteract the tax collection. The commerce part is the wasteful part. Maybe, actually, maybe Wudu is better. Right, industry, commerce. Technically not commerce. Yeah, it's not commerce. Does she boost that? Well, she boosts, oh yeah, 40. So, okay, perfect. She wins the job here. She's right here. How much does it cost us to recruit units right now? Only 90. You see the discount? Once we get our hand on the last horse pasture, these are going to be free recruitment. And even the upkeep will go down. So we'll have really nice armies going forward. So we'll do is going to change up a bit. We're no longer going to be rebel farming here. We had this to decrease the cost, so we might as well build this out. Now we can demolish this, and there will be no more rebel groups. So we can recall both of them. We'll keep an army here to farm. And we'll actually use this because it's going to be peasantry industry here. 
That's rather useless. That needs upgrade. Hmm. We might need two more of the tax collection reform so that we can counteract the cruel and then we're good. Because I don't want to keep an army out here. Alright, we're gonna recall all the useful generals. So this group. Hmm. I like this army setup. I think they're gonna stay. As in they're gonna go fight. <laughs> this is your uh, sister-in-law. That's related. They're family, so they will heal each other. She will get a retinue and then be recalled. It went up because we took away a lot of instinct. But once we get our hand on that, we don't need instinct even. You know, we'll be fine. Alright, so reform-wise, we gotta wait three turns for the southern invasion anyway, so we're probably gonna go down this way, take away some corruption, also gain access to tier 4 tax collection, then take away the public order issue, and also level 5 tax collection. We can choose where we want to have our public order issue. And aside from that, I think we're good. I think we're... Okay, this is also eventually gonna be very nice, but I don't know if we'll, when we'll get there, because it needs a lot of green reforms. These are nice too. We might just finish the red tree. Because we're already kind of here. Alright. We have no money left, but one extra assignment. Oh, we can boost commerce income as well. Perfect. Hmm. Let's hang on to that for a little bit, because Machal's army is going to be standing here for a little bit. Just a little greedy, because we don't have population at all, because all the, you know, rebellion. So we can't utilize these extra building slots until that finishes. Alright, let's continue. Maple is still not white. I'm so surprised. Alright, we'll encamp. Man, they're so far away from what we need. But, that's fine. Right, we got a lot of generals. Let's just take a look at them here. She's the first one. Mainly looking for traits, and then we'll scan the items in one go. And by traits, I mean burnt. I don't think anyone have items either. Okay, we'll pass on those. Do we want... Hmm, if generals are unhappy, we'll do it. Extra... Expertise, please. Might as well for the resolve boost. I think we have another wooden dog. Perfect. So 3k, 19%. That's the best we got. We can also get 15% here later and a little bit extra resolve. Perfect. Okay. Um... Still waiting on this. Wow, we're just poor. Maybe I shouldn't upgrade this. I need this building temporarily for our first build up. I just need one more. 
not Zhang Liao. Oh, no one's happy with them. Uh, I want to ask you on the front line. Hmm. It's, it's not possible to get everyone happy, so. Oh well. Oh. Trying to ask you not getting along. Alright, Dash, you stay home then. Actually, that might be a mistake. He doesn't have fire arrow. Okay, so maybe getting some experience would be nice. Alright, they will farm in Anding. We can't recruit him? Why? He's on assignment. Right. We'll grab Zhang Xiu and Zhan Ba. Yeah, I think that might work. And then Ma Teng's group eventually can join up. Once we colonize both of these. Rank up. Hmm. I don't know what she needs. Nothing's really good. I'll get this. Fire arrows. That's pretty good, actually. Maybe we can do a swap. Ah, uh, I'd rather him boost income for now. We'll switch later. Alright, this is probably the most important one right now. Let's continue. Alright, so it's a uh, harvest season of 202, and what we're going to do is end our episode here. It's a rather quiet episode. I know we did a lot of maneuvers. Oh! This is great! This is great news. We take it, and then we put Matia there, and then we give him independence. Then we get two trade partners in the same region. Perfect. Okay, so this is great. Uh, we're going to go claim that, and then we'll do that afterward. Uh, they're not going to grow very big. Or maybe we'll go kill them first, because we don't have enough money. Uh, regardless, that's going to be the plan. And then we're going to get two extra trade, because we canceled one over here. So that would be back to three full trade, uh, three full trade agreements. And then going forward, we're going to be setting up an army very cheaply once we get the horse pasture up. And then we'll be invading them. Um, waiting five turns. So I'm guessing around next spring we'll be able to do it. And we'll finally start fighting. We might even run into some powerful forces by Meng Huo. And that should be very interesting as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And see you guys next time. Bye!